for the lunch break, produce man Michael Marks is here with the deals of the week. Hey, Michael. Yeah, are you serious about your apples? I am. Then you'll serious. seriously love this apple. Uh, the apple variety is UEB32642. Well, that's the number they gave it uh, in Prague, Czechoslovakia, uh, when they created this apple. It's actually a cross between a Golden Delicious and a Topaz apple. And uh, it was crossed in 1999. Finally, after 12 years of research in the Mediterranean, uh, they finally released it into the United States in about 2010. And this apple, we call it an Opal apple. You don't have to use the UEB32642 anymore. It's called an Opal apple. And if you love apples, you'll love the crunch of this apple. I crave the crunch of this apple. Also, it, it has a very low polyphenol oxidase. You know what polyphenol oxidase is? No. <laughs> no idea. Uh, that's, what, that's what causes the apple to oxidize, right? And they ha it has less of it. So you can actually slice this apple and it will stay white for up to 10 hours. 97 cents a pound. So anytime you can find one of the best apples on the planet for dancing around a buck a pound, man, that's a good price. Navel oranges, $1.49 a pound. Uh, they, they, somebody harvested this orange when it was still wet. And the w reason you can tell is the fingerprints are right there. Uh, the oil from your fingers get on the, on, the, uh, on the fruit, and when it colors, it does not color where the fingers were. So you can actually see how they picked this, huh. uh, this orange. Wow. Uh, so huh. really pale in color. Uh, every night uh, that it gets cold, Cody keeps sending those cold temperatures. That's good because it gets better color and better sugar content. $1.49 a pound for navel oranges, the number one orange in the world. Russet potatoes, a five pound bag for $2.99. Hold on just a second. Let me get my math hat on. Whoa, that's 60 cents a pound. That's a really good price for potatoes. And you're going to need lots of potatoes for uh, mashed potatoes coming up. So that's a really good price. Five pounds for $2.99. One of the first things I want you to do when you get them in the bag like this, make sure that they're completely dry. If they're, uh, if they're wet at all, what I want you to do is open up that bag and let it air out, let it dry out. So that way you're not going to walk into your kitchen one day and oh. say, oh, that awful smell. That is good advice. Also, I'm no marketing expert, but I think Opal Apple is better than UEB 326. <laughs> 32642. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Thank good. you, Michael. Appreciate it. You bet.